So, what is a hydraulic handbrake? How does it work, and what is it used for? In this video, I will go over the basic operation of an inline hydraulic handbrake system, what makes it an inline system, and how to tie it into your existing brake system. A hydraulic handbrake has a variety of uses. Its most common use is in the sport of drifting, where the hydraulic handbrake is far more powerful and faster than the standard cable e-brakes from the factory. Its ability to lock up the rear tires quickly makes it a valuable addition to any drifter setup. In rally racing, it is primarily used to counter the understeer found in front-wheel drive cars competing in events. In drag racing, the handbrake becomes useful in the assistance of burnouts and preloading the driveline in order to absorb the shock upon launch of the vehicle from a dead stop. Pictured here is the stock brake system for a 1986 Dodge Omni GLH. It uses a brake master cylinder which feeds two lines to a proportioning valve which in other vehicles may be labeled as a combination valve. From there, it branches off into four lines in which each line runs to one caliper or drum on each corner of the vehicle. Here is a simplified diagram that I had drawn up in Microsoft Paint. The orange indicates the vehicle's brake master cylinder. The blue indicates the proportioning valve or combination valve. The hydraulic handbrake, which is also referred to as a staging brake, hydro brake, or drift brake, is installed in line with your existing brake system. Installing the handbrake in line with your existing system enables you to retain the use of the foot brake in your vehicle. How can the hydraulic handbrake installed in line with my existing system still enable me to retain the use of my foot brake for day-to-day -day driving? We'll get to that in a minute. For now, let's look at the basic idea of how to set up and tee into your existing system. The first thing you will want to do is locate the brake lines coming from the rear brakes and identifying if they are being fed with one brake line or two. In the case of the example vehicle, there are two individual brake lines running from the rear brakes all the way up to the proportioning valve or combination valve. The idea for the example vehicle is to join the two lines by fitting a T and turning it into one brake line. This will be accomplished on both sides of the line you cut. Pictured here is the combination of two lines into one and having it run to the inlet and outlet of the staging brake. The green light indicates the inlet pressure and the red line indicates the outlet pressure that runs to the rear brakes. On most hydraulic handbrakes, the inlet pressure is the port on the very end while the outlet is usually found at a 45 degree angle or it's mounted on the side of the handbrake's master cylinder. This means that fluid runs in here and out this way. So let's get back to the question of how this makes the hydraulic handbrake an inline system. When installed, the hydraulic handbrake has two ports that are open and allow the free movement of brake fluid to be passed through the handbrake master cylinder itself by use of the foot brake as demonstrated in this animation. Okay, let's go over the fluid flow using the handbrake. The brake fluid in this diagram is indicated in yellow. As you can see here, in this circle, there is a gap that allows the flow of brake fluid to go in and out of the handbrake master cylinder, allowing the foot brake to still be used with the rear brakes. This is what makes it an inline system. When this rod assembly is actuated backwards by the driver in the car pulling the handbrake lever, it effectively seals the handbrake system off from the vehicle's master cylinder. The seal is held in place by a spring inside of the handbrake master cylinder itself. As shown here by the red arrows in the brake fluid, the pressure now only has one direction to go. The handbrake master cylinder pushes brake fluid to the rear brakes by the small piston indicated by the color blue. This piston rides on a shaft indicated by the arrow. When the handbrake lever is pulled back, it pushes the brake fluid to the rear brakes, effectively locking them in place.